Over the years, I have seen all the popular well-known anime series out there. In terms of harm anime series, I have seen almost every harm anime series out there, even the ones that weren't popular. There are multiple problems with harm anime series, but there is one major problem that people get upset about when I point out, which is cowardly spineless harm protagonist that runs away from hot girls when they try to make a move on him. This is one of the biggest cliches in harm anime series, and people should be very familiar with it, because it occurs countless times, and it's very frustrating to watch. It doesn't make any sense. A guy that has never had much luck with girls, and has never had any intimacy with girls, rejects advances from a girl that is attractive. How does it make sense? My first time seeing this was in the first harm anime series I have ever seen, which was Omamori Himori. In that anime series, Himori is a hot cat girl that tells the main character in a seductive way to help her try on clothes, and rather than make a move, he said in Bear's voice, Hey, I've seen you put on clothes before. You don't need my help. What sort of guy says that? It's like, dude, just go along with it. This, of course, is not the only example. There are countless spineless harm protagonists like this. In Campion, the main character has a girl like Erica that wants to get intimate with him. But he literally runs away from her when she tries to make a move on him. He finds her attractive, yet runs away before anything can happen. How does that make sense? There is also the main character from Day Alive running away from Kurumi when she tries to flirt with him. Another example is Issei being too scared to respond to advances made from Ashia and the rest of the girls in the harem. The one moment that absolutely made no sense and left me in shock was when the main character Diablo from the anime series How Not to Summon Demon Lord rejected a hot woman named Fanisu that followed him to his bed and was ready to go very far with him. I'm sure everyone remembers that moment. This guy was a gamer in his old world and was a shut-in. He was a socially awkward guy that had no experience with women. He had been sent to his fantasy world, and now has a chance to experience things he could never experience in his old world. Here was his moment to get very far with a woman. She is literally in his bed, yet the first thing he wants to do is run away. It makes you want to rage just seeing that. I'm not saying these are terrible main characters, and these anime series are terrible. I'm saying you can't defend them being spineless and cowardly in those moments. No guy is going to turn down advances made from a girl they are attracted to. This is obviously not good writing, and doesn't make any sense. Guys don't just reject advances made from hot girls they are attracted to. The very idea is laughable. We all know why the creative series have the main characters act this way. Because if the main character didn't run away, this anime series would turn into a hentai. Any guy in that scenario would have gone along with these advances made from a girl. I understand the problem of it turning to a hentai, but there are better ways to go about it. You can just have the guy make out and get very close to a girl, but not actually go all the way. After all, girls and guys get intimate often, but that doesn't mean they go all the way each time. I don't think anyone would get that upset if they didn't go all the way. All we want is some intimacy at the very least. But instead, the anime series would rather have these main characters act like cowards. People get very upset when I point this out. They said, young, growing guys get nervous at times and just can't go through with it. It's not unusual for guys to react like that. I definitely disagree with that. I don't care if you're from Japan, from America, or from a country in Europe. A guy's natural instinct to a hot girl that they like making a move on them is to obviously go along with it and get intimate with them. Doesn't matter if you're a young guy or an older guy that reaction will be the same. Now, of course, if you have a girlfriend, rejecting a girl that makes a move on you makes sense. But when you have no experience with girls and never had any luck with girls, and a girl you hang out with and is attracted to suddenly tries to get intimate with you, of course you're gonna like that and not run away. There is no defense for these cowardly spineless protagonists. People get upset because I'm being mean to Issei and criticizing him too much. But a guy like Issei should never run away or be too scared to do anything. This is a guy that loves to talk about how he loves 
big breasts. This is a guy that says he wants to harm him. This is a guy that can't stop thinking about hot women. He is as perverted as it is. Yet, when these girls actually make a move on him, he either runs away or freezes up. I'm glad I watched every season of High School DxD because now I can criticize his character. In episode 8 of season 1, he rejected the advances of Asia and Rias, even when they gave him an open invitation to make a move on them. I watched season 2, season 3, and season 4, and was open-minded. Maybe Issei would change for the better. In season 2 and season 3, his entire harem made a move on him, but all he does is freeze up, and he's too nervous and shy to do anything. These girls are topless, and will let Issei do anything for their bodies. Yet he does nothing and freezes up. They had to literally put his hand on their breasts to even get him to touch them. That is how much of a scared coward Issei is being. He's finally aggressive a couple times in season 4, but it doesn't make up for the scared and cowardly behavior in his previous seasons. That is one of the main reasons people get upset whenever I criticize High School DxD. But I just can't defend Issei's behavior. A guy that loves big breasts and hot girls shouldn't be scared to make a move on them when he finally gets a chance. Any guys with Issei personality would get intimate with them and go very far with them. The best example of how a hard protagonist should act is main character Basura. From the Testament of Sisters New Devil, Basura is told he must get intimate with girls in order to help them get stronger. Rather than whine about how immoral this is, Basra acts like how guys should act, and gets very intimate with them. He likes it, and the girls like it as well. This is how main character should act. Now you may say, well, he was doing it because it was needed. Then, as a creative of a popular series, you have to figure out a way to make the main character actually get intimate with girls. Don't make him out to be this spineless coward.